here we are, listen, here we are on, uh, whoops, hang on, on Instagram Live. I've never done this before. What, whoops, Wait, this is, uh, this is rookie stuff going on here, trying to move the, move the phone, move the camera. Yeah, mine is balanced on so many books. Yeah, there we go. Do I have advice for women directors? I suppose my, my advice, I'm very hesitant to give advice, often because I believe that most people um, like to find their own way. But, but to that end, uh, if I had any advice to give, it's to um, how best to say this, to just, just be as true to yourself as you can. Because there are, and I'd say that to anyone who is an artist, is that um, the, the, the more uh, honest and authentic you can be about your own personal experience of being alive, the more likely the specificity of that experience will connect with somebody else. Um, and so not, so not to try to to, to bend or shift or change or, or just be just be honest about uh, what you want to say and say it as loudly as you can. Um, yeah. You know, tell tell the story that you want to say. Massive and shout out to all the other women directors as well that you've worked with. Amazing uh, people: Joanna Hogg, Thea Sharrock, Susanna Beer, uh, Hetty McDonald, Ashlyn Walsh. Um, Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Who's directing your current thing? Who's that? Kate Heron. Kate yeah. Heron. Kate yeah. Heron. There Kate you go. Heron directing, directing Loki. Um, There's that small boy finally getting an opportunity to act, not paint. Um, yes. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I uh, am unfortunately drawing a terrible blank. I know there's more which I feel awful about. But I don't have my... They don't mind, I'm sure. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take one question, which is just admiring my hair. Yes, I cut it myself, but it is a mullet at the back. So thank you. Um, and you, let me see. Uh, Josie, you, don't, yep. you can't, you don't win in the mullet competition, I'm afraid. No, I know. See ya. Namaste. We'll see. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Take care. <laughs> take care, everybody. Look after yourselves. Yeah. Okay. All of that. We'll be back one day yeah. with different hair. Okay. Bye. 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 It is a beauteous evening, Calm and Free by William Wordsworth. It is a beauteous evening, Calm and Free. The holy time is quiet as a nun, breathless with adoration. The broad sun is sinking down in its tranquility. The gentleness of heaven broods o'er the sea. Listen, the mighty being is awake, and doth with his eternal motion make a sound like thunder everlastingly. Dear child, dear girl, that walkest with me here, if thou appear untouched by solemn thought, thy nature is not therefore less divine. Thou liest in Abram's bosom all the year, and worshipst at the temple's inner shrine, God being with thee when we know it not. My heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. So was it when my life began. So is it now I am a man. So be it when I shall grow old or let me die. The child is father to the man. And I could wish my days to be bound each to each 
by natural piety. Yes! Hey everyone, uh, today's the 2nd of June, so the day after my birthday, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who sent me some lovely birthday messages. Um, obviously, we're all going through um, some really crazy times around the world um, for lots of different reasons, and I just want to make sure that everyone is staying safe, um, standing up for what we believe in is right, uh, and making a difference in the world. So thank you for making my 24th birthday a very special one. Thank you to all the people around the world who are really striving to make the world a better place. Uh, and I hope everyone is safe and, um, and happy. Hmm. Okay then. It's always fun when my pal Will Smith comes to hang out in the living room. Um, a mangy looking pigeon, man. Okay, dude. Add a boy. Good boy. Or girl, could be. Okay. Smashing it. Smashing it. This is great work. This is good form. Smashing it. To the door. To the door. To the door. Love it. Love your work. Love your work. Here we go. Here... Oh, it's flying. Oh, no. Okay. You're so close, Bridget. No, not that way. This way. This way. This way. Be free. I'm so glad to be a part of this show tonight. We get to honor all these incredible people and we get to listen to some great music too. Right now, I'm excited to welcome one of my favorite artists, a kick-ass singer-songwriter who is dedicating her performance to a group of people she cares deeply about. Here is Miranda Lambert. First responders are trained to stay calm in the face of danger and extreme stress, but nothing could have prepared them for a situation like this. When most of us are being told to stay home, police, EMTs, and firefighters go out there and face this head on. That takes courage and strength, and no one exemplifies that more than this next hero. No matter what has been thrown at him and his family, they keep battling. He's had to fight through sickness and tremendous loss. And the moment he was cleared to return to work, he put back on his badge and got right back out there to protect us. Here is one of our first responder heroes, Rick Vanderklok. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is a little late in getting here. I apologize. Obviously, we've had some things happen in the last uh, several weeks that have really taken on uh, a lot of significance. But I, I would be remiss if I didn't thank my friends at Voss uh, for coming together with me to uh, donate a thousand bottles to the Union Rescue Mission. Uh, and giving these frontline heroes a much needed respite and much needed support. This went down actually May 16th, but it's still going on. And I just want to uh, make sure that I shout out Voss and again tell uh, them thank you. And please, in these troubling times, let us also not forget that we still have a pandemic out there and that we still need to support the frontline workers that are doing everything that they can to, uh, to uh, make sure that we stay safe at the expense of uh, their own health often. So uh, I want to say thank you again to Voss. Thank you again to all of our frontline workers. And let's keep fighting, y'all. Peace. Hi. Children's hospitals are on the front lines of the COVID-19 crisis. Open 24-7, 365 days to provide high-quality, compassionate care that sick children and adults need. But they can't do it alone. 
To meet these urgent demands, Children's Miracle Network Hospitals is committed to ensuring 170 children's hospitals across North America have the resources they need to care for the most vulnerable kids through the COVID-19 Impact Fund. The reality is, kids can't wait for a cure. For the curve to flatten or for an economic boost, they need children's hospitals now more than ever. When we change kids' health, we change the future for all of us. Thank you. Hi, Biscotti. Hi, Biscotti. Hi, Biscotti.